Good morning, friends. It's Drayton with World's Greatest Kiting. Today is September 10th, 2017. I am in St. Petersburg, Florida, downtown. Hurricane Irma's coming. Did you think I wouldn't do this? It's a ghost town here. Police are on the roads, that's it. It is really windy, guys. It's our first sign of damage. First thing knocked down that I've seen so far. A lot of people have been asking me since they knew that I'm living in St. Petersburg and the eye of the storm is about to hit right over top of my house or the building that I'm staying in. Can you fly a kite in a hurricane? And I say, there's only one way to find out. Friends, you may not be able to hear me pretty soon. It is really windy out here. I'm not gonna fly any big kites. I'm just gonna fly a couple, couple kites that I know are okay in high wind, and if they break, they break. I love these type of adventures, friends. I really do. It's not super dangerous out here yet. The rain just started a couple hours ago, overnight. They're up to, so they say, 30 to 40 miles an hour right now. Things are being knocked over. Uh, there's some damage already being done. A lot of, a lot of the uh, palm fronds are down on the ground already. Boy, oh, it's pretty windy. There could be a lot of damage from this storm, and I wanted to take you out here to one of my favorite places to fly. We've been here together a few times at Spa Beach, right here, and right over here, right here past this fence, is where the the site of the very first commercial aircraft by Tony Janus occurred. Right over here, right, right about where these trailers are is where the plane took off on that, on that day in the early 1900s. But unfortunately, friends, all of this has been fenced off. I can't access the beach. I can't get to Spa Beach. They're, they're rebuilding the pier out here. And before this gets changed in any way because of the weather, I wanted to, to visit it one more time and, and do a one last kite fly here. Remember the Conine kite from the other day? The Prism Isotope? I'm going to fly that guy. I also have a box kite in here and some other kites we can try out. I have a snowflake. Actually, it'd be kind of cool right now. I've discovered that it is probably way too windy at this point. The wind has picked up at least 10 miles per hour in my walk. It's probably too windy to fly this, but we're going to do it anyway. Friends, my apologies. The last kite that I was going to pull out, it occurred to me that since the wind is picking up speed every second here, it's probably up to 40 mile an hour gusts right now. It's almost pushing me over. I don't want to ruin a very nice kite and one of the only ones I have that would even withstand any kind of wind like this. So I'm going to wait till after the storm or maybe just a little bit later for some very special kites that I'll pull out during the hurricane in its full force. Stay tuned for that. Think I'm crazy? Don't. You would do it too, and you can, and I'll show you how simple it is. I sure hope for all these people out here that they're safe. I, I'm pretty sure that there's there will be nobody in their right mind staying on a boat. A lot of people live on these boats, and I'm, I hope that they all got to safety. I'm 
I'm really hoping so. The streets are pretty much dead, except for this guy in a DJ Kitty onesie. Nice work. <laughs> it's <party>. you. <laughs> Let's see that tail. Oh! <laughs> Friends, it's kind of dark. I wanted to give you a little idea of what I brought with me to prepare somewhat. Right over here, a little hard to see, but I have a box of supplies for the van there. There's there's some, uh, there's some, see if I can show you in here. Here's a box of supplies I have just for the van. I have jumper cable, oh, you really can't see. I have jumper cables in here. I have some uh, visible vests, some orange vests. Here we have just, boy. Well, friends, you just can't see anything, but propane, got some fuel, got some extra towels, extension cords, got a bunch of kites in here, some uh, supplies, construction supplies. I got a ladder, extendable ladder, extra DO for the BO, and big floor jack, some miscellaneous stuff. The rest of the tools are up in the apartment. We may not be able to get back to these vehicles. And the fantasy van will be all alone. Pre-storm is what we look like. That's where I'm staying. I'm gonna be gonna be right about there. Where that little window is. Actually, in that area. See where that gondola is? We're gonna be below it and down near the middle of the building there. Good luck, St. Pete. Uh, there's more cars that have been on the street than I've seen all day. Oh, no. Check no, this out, guys. Our neighbors yeah, brought them. over no. this breakfast for us. They own a restaurant down the way. And it was so nice of them. How does it taste? Delicious. Awesome. Amazing. Yeah. Like home. Thanks, Sia and Rusty. Those are awesome. It's like this bacon, egg, and I don't know what else is. Bread. Bacon, egg, and something else. Bread. Oops. Chai. Mm -hmm. All right, green onion. Yeah. Oh man. That is really good. They own a restaurant called Lolita. Lolita or Lolita's? Lolita's. Lolita's here in St. Pete. <clears throat> Probably find this on the menu. Go check him out, man. Wow, that's good. If he's making food there, it's got to be really good. Yeah. Friends, I'm getting a couple last minute things that we remembered in the van that we might need. The sound of the wind is incredible. Just uh, being by this construction site out here and all the rebar. Let me show you here. All this rebar and all the stuff that's down here along the ground is making quite the scary sound. As you can see we're starting to get some serious wind right now. Things are crashing around and we still have about 12 hours till the real storm hits. So I'm here with my neighbor Amy, yes. Mason, and Kristen, and some other people, and the dogs, and it's pretty calm right now, but soon the Detroit is going to be under fire. We're going to go take some cover, enjoy ourselves, you see the destruction has already happened a little bit, people are feeling anxious and fun and enjoying ourselves. Wish us luck, guys. Alright, here's that, that thing you wanted, Brent. Mm. X kites, color max, diamond kite. Hurricane parking garage rooftop. It's pretty eerie here, friends. Time is coming nigh, and we are we are in the path of destruction. It is very quiet here. I don't hear any birds chirping. There's no Nobody is out but the police. There's a curfew for all people. 
starting in 10 minutes, intense times, St. Petersburg, Florida, September 10th, 2017. Well, here's what's left. Salvageable. And probably what I'm gonna make my feathers out of this year for Kite Mania. I a pretty good idea now. Well inspired. Well guys, that was that. Really good kite fly. where the wind just blew out, totally bent. It is totally shattered. I'm trying to find some help for her. Good night, everyone. Happy flying.